Hey there! Welcome to Volume and Tricks 2 tutorial. The cube is the main tool in the extension panel. Give one of its faces a click and bam! You've kicked off an isometric projection onto your chosen layers. After that's done, your layers get some new knobs and dials under the effects panel to mess with. These let you play around with how deep, angled, or shifty your faux 3D object looks. Worth poking around to see what changes what. You get the gist of flipping 2D layers into something that pops more like 3D. And trust me, you'll see how cool this tool can be once you fiddle with all the different settings and tweaks. Heads up, if your design uses just one color, throwing a stroke of any color around it helps make those edges pop so everything stands out nicely and clearly. It's time to plop them into an isometric world. Hit the isometric grid button in Vient 2, and a neat isometric grid will pop up in your composition or vanish if you toggle it off. This grid is your canvas for dropping in those isometric objects. Once it's up, you can tweak the ISO map size in the effect controls panel whenever it suits you. Your ISO map is a guide layer so that it won't show up outside your pre comps or in your exports. Because things are isometric, it doesn't mean they automatically sort out which objects stack on top. You gotta shuffle the layer's order in your timeline yourself to make sure everything in your scene looks right. One of the coolest things about Volume and Tricks 2 is its rotation and faux shadow. This really brings your isometric projects to life with more depth and gives you a ton of flexibility for getting creative. Let's dive into the rotation bit. Dealing with rotation in isometric design can be a headache, especially when trying to keep everything looking crisp. Vent 2 offers a unique pivot rotation feature, letting you spin objects around using its isometric axis. Grab the layer or bunch of layers you want to animate. Make sure they're all set with that faux 3D look. Head to the Vent 2 panel and find those rotation controls. This is where you decide how and where you want your object to spin. You've got full 360 degree action here, and you can use keyframes to animate your layers. Shadows are key for giving the depth of your isometric design. Got your object ready, maybe even animated. Now let's get its shadow in there. Pick your object, then choose one of the four directions in the UI to get the shadow's angle right. The ISO map's there to help you place it just right. Since the shadow is basically copying your source, you get one shape of shadow to work with. For example, a portrait will give you a portrait shadow, not a side view. Tweak the shadow's look by messing with how see-through to fit your seam just right. Shadows stick to their parent objects. That means anytime you move, scale, or animate the object, the shadow does its thing too, keeping everything consistent in your animation. Multiple projections feature is a huge time saver and ensures your isometric scene's vibe is consistent throughout. Going this route cuts down on the back and forth with tool features so that you can focus more on the fun rather than getting bogged down in the nitty gritty. This approach is a game changer for positioning your elements dynamically, adding a sense of depth. With the X, Y, and FOZ movement, objects can look closer or farther away depending on what you're going for. It ensures that you are always moving layers in a consistent isometric world. Pixel perfect. Vent 2 is like a bridge that takes all the cool stuff you can do in After Effects and lets you turn it into Lottie files. Exporting your isometric animations as Lottie files from Volume and Tricks 2 opens up all sorts of possibilities for apps and web design. <laughs> 